Targeting trouble, you are getting the guns out of the wrong hands. So as God was telling me, and this initiative is you can remain anonymous, no name, no blame. So we just asking people to come and turn the guns. Not just give us your guns, we're gonna purchase your guns from you so we can save another life. Money for life. That's what it's called. Money for life, for saving another life. trying to do is to protect our people, God's people. It's all about us working together to do what needs to be done to get things right. You know, you're starting with this gun buyback. That's a very small thing in some people's mind. But it could end up being a very, very large thing to protect any life, one life. So what I would like to do today is not stay up here and just talk all day long. Is just try to deliver something to people. And when I say deliver, I mean try to give them a little bit of, of, of help. And I can tell you, I, I've been around for a while, and I've seen a lot in my day. Uh, you know, I grew up, and there was a lot of things going on where I grew up. I was very, very blessed uh, to have parents that actually um, was by me every step of the way and kept me in church and um, just was there with me for everything that I did. And I try to do the same thing with my children. And I also try to do the same thing with your children. And I try to say things to people to make them think before they do something. And we none are perfect. I'm far from being perfect. But at the end of the day, we have to try to help each other. And I think that's what we're doing here today. We're not to well, I got a home to live in where I can lay my I could have been sleeping in my grave, but you kept me alive instead, and you keep on blessing me, keep on blessing me. Over, again. over again. Lord, you keep on blessing me, keep on blessing me. Over, again. over again. So you keep on blessing me, keep on blessing me. Over, again. over again. Lord, you keep on blessing me. Over again. over again and I want to thank you, thank you Jesus. I thank you, thank you Jesus. Lord I thank you, thank you Jesus. I thank you Lord thank you, Jesus. so many times you, you opened doors for me you, and if it had not been for you Say you made a way for me. Lord, you made a way for me. And you did it over and over and over and over. Oh, yeah. Now, if you know the Lord has been good to you, Say he woke you up this morning, started you on your way. You ought to be giving him all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. For he is deserving. Hallelujah. Talk to 
talking about the Lord. Bless the Lord, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yeah, media God. activist and evangelist, city activist also, minister, and uh, radio personality, Donovan D. Davis. And I'm here uh, with uh, my fellow minister, uh, Apostle yeah, Felton Hogan, and we're here at our second annual gun buy back rally. Now, this gun buy back rally is not uh, based in uh, any legislative reform or anything of that nature. We are targeting troubled youth within our communities who are uneducated and who are who may be suffering from a lot of mental issues and who may be fatherless and children who are just abandoned the total social structure that we were raised under we're targeting those kids who are hurting we're targeting youth who do not have a voice we're targeting youth who are underprivileged we're targeting youth who are marginalized and who come from marginalized and impoverished communities we are in our communities standing up as staples and instruments of peace and righteousness within our communities in our time because we are concerned, all of us are collectively concerned about our communities. And because we are concerned, we pray and we ask God for revelation and insight on how to adequately respond to the problems that are happening around us in our families, in our societies, in our churches. We're asking for guidance. We're asking for guidance. When we get that guidance from God, we take that guidance. We take that information. We deposit it within our spirits and we collectively come together and we move out strategically within our communities and we don't complain. We do the work and we clean up the mess that, that has been made. The mess has been made because we didn't handle the business of raising our children. And because we didn't collectively, we have to come don't think they not listening. Still count your guilty before you know you did it. Patience is value and waiting. Wisdom just to die for all of the children. Remember your teaching, just like eating. Gotta do it every day, something just like breathing. I teach like this, to reach like this. From the beginning, we was made in his image, but we still acting like this. To a tree, to fruit. A bit now, but we descend from. But he without sin cast the first stone. I'm only going at myself. I don't like this world. praying that God touch minds, renewing minds and stuff like that. So that's what we've been trying to do right now. We're just trying to be humble and let the Lord do us. And the ministry is mask, mask. Get the camera there. Mm -hmm. Mask. Mothers against sisters. Sister is killing. Yes, yes, yes. And my wife, Trina Hogan, she's the uh, president of that organization. Because everything we do and say, man, we're working on programming our kids. Okay. And see, I used to be one of these kids, man. This is a gun buyback, man. I used to play with guns for real, man. And, and man, I thank God, man, he delivered me from all these things I used to do, man. I was addicted to drugs, alcohol. I've been in the penitentiary three times. I've been arrested 40 times. I've been homeless, man. I'm blessed, man. I got me a good wife who's been married for 12 years. And, uh, you know, in the word, the word said when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing, man. And I can attest to that. And uh, I just want to say, man, that uh, we just got to keep speaking to our kids, man. And like I said, we got to teach our kids that they're created on purpose and for a purpose. That they have gifts, greatness, talents on the inside of them. We got to teach them to cause those gifts to manifest, to reach inside, to cause those gifts and talents to develop. You know, we got to encourage them, man, because we ain't got a lot of people encouraging the kids. Because what the kids are doing, man, is what I used to do, man, listening to this music, programming our thinking in a negative way. We got to help them to program themselves in a positive way. And, uh, man, I just want to say thank y'all for coming out. Thank y'all for having us here. And I hope we have a good turnout, man. And, and y'all keep pushing forward, man. God bless. One love. Demontre is going to rock a little something on the, on the drum. And we're just going to rock it like that. We're going to show y'all. We can do it anywhere, anytime, any place. I'd rather do it to live music anyway. Oh, yeah. 